heed my warnings. Yeah. He's a father. He's a father. Doesn't mean he can't shove you out of his truck. <laughs> now, fa- what's that got to do with it? Now, fathers, fathers, if Father's Day is um, not as valuable as Mother's Day, because Mother's Day, because anybody could be a father, really, technically, big deal. You know, she's a mother. Like Ron Jeremy called them scum guppies. Anybody could shoot scum guppies. You know, I mean, a mother, you know, special. Been, you have how many kids? None. None? You mean you're a nun? You 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 live you live in a convent? <laughs> anyway, let me tell you what happened. I felt bad for my mom's caregiver, Elizabeth. She's an African American woman from Ghana. She has a, a mourning client. She's black. She's black. She has a mourning. She has a mourning client on Passaic Street in Lower Dice. So because it was raining, she took an Uber. Only three minutes away. Yeah. They charge her like uh, nine bucks just to drive eight minutes from Lodi to Lodi. Well, I said, Eileen only charge you twelve. It only cost me. It only cost me eleven dollars to get to Holy Name Hospital in, in Teaneck. I know. So how could it be nine? So I told her, you better contact them, and uh, or well, take. I was in the bathroom. Did you talk any sense into her? No. I try to give her advice. It didn't work. Did it? She she said she'll take it. Oh, you will not. You <laughs> know it. Stop it. She said she'll take... What ta- did he say? What advice did he give you? He said go down to social services. Well, he said that when I was here. What, he repeated no, I said it again. Else? No, I told her I told her the importance of the programs that you might qualify for. What's the Newark shit, though? I don't get this. You know... You, and, you can't go to Newark anyway. And I told her about my... It's the wrong county, Jimmy. That, that's Essex County. That's not... You, that's you not don't even, qualify in that county. That's not even Bergen County. Who you is this shite? You can't go to that county. Hey, who is this shyster that rang your doorbell? You've got to stay in Bergen County, which is Rochelle Park, Kylie. You're laughing. You're not even listening. You know what? My brother, yes, is me to death. It doesn't do any good. I, to, I told her about Jimmy, people... Newark, she can't go to Newark. It's Essex County. It's the wrong county. Now, if she lived in Bloomfield, that, uh, you know... But, 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 but she does The point is, that's the wrong county. You can't go there. You've got to go up here. What can we do to get through? What What can we do to get through? Yeah, but you still have to go to the, within your county region. Oh, God. I need. I should have took a clonip. It doesn't matter where Horizon If Horizon was should have brought a bottle of vodka. You're the flat of California, Eileen. That's where they are. They're based. The police have to go to your regional listen, directors. Listen, most life is really common sense. Really. This is not rocket science. It's like the advice he gives Joseph, the uh, science and professor. he will not listen. He, he goes, listen. yeah, 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 yeah. He walks away. The point is, you have to be, when you get good advice, you have to be a sponge. You have to absorb it. And I don't even know why you're not writing the little notes down. Digest it. Things that you will forget in five minutes anyway. And you utilize it. And you won't. Utilize the sound advice. They delivered the food to me, though. Who? Newark? If they somebody delivered, delivered you. Delivered it from but who cares if they delivered you garbage? It's still garbage. Mm-hmm. Well, you said the food's not good or it's not much or what? What's food food, pan- good, food pantry food is, is absolute, to- absolute toxic trash. Well, food pantry is mostly your canned goods anyway. And it's, donated. Or it's donated. It's donated. Things that you can store in a cupboard. It's not food that's already prepared. You know what? You know, food you know what a food? You know what a food pantry caseworker told me? Where our only our concern is not proper nutrition. Our concern is to fill bellies. Well, yeah, make you have a meal. Well, sick. they want full, well, They want right, to give poor right. people. I agree. I agree. You don't need fuck nutrition. We have to fuck get nutrition. You that's how you, you stay healthy and no, you live long. No, and if you're not eating, you're going to die too. You've got to get them fed and stuff in yeah. their bellies. You but do. but she qualifies for food stamps. The snap. You don't have an EBT card or anything. You don't have an EBT card at all. I do have that, but that doesn't give me enough food. You know? Because you need to. How much do you get a month? You need EBT? to reapply, Eileen. About 120. Yeah. Oh my God, you're a single girl. That w- that's something not too, at least. That's not too bad. No, it's not bad. 120 dollars is not that bad. Come on, Eileen. What are you buying with it? Nothing. What are you buying with it? I'm buying vitamin water. You know. Get food, Eileen. Listen, listen to me. If you go to the Dollar Tree, they have banquet. Well, you're talking about go yeah, ahead. Right. They have banquet. I didn't know she had the EBT card. I didn't know she was getting that much. No, I didn't. Either. Well, my my, I know a guy that's getting almost two hundred, and he's just one person. Now they're screwing his ass. He's getting fifteen dollars. Listen, 
right if you go to the Dollar Tree, they have banquet frozen dinners. They have very good manicotti. They have Salisbury steak with mac and cheese. They have uh, meatloaf with uh, creamy mashed potatoes made with real cream. Go there, load up, load up your freezer with all these different banquet frozen dinners for a buck each. You can, guess what? You can use your, your EBT card, your SNAP card. It's really common sense. You can load your freezer. At least you have it. You know what I mean? You, you, they got so much variety there for a dollar each. Oh, you may be you may be in the mood for chicken fried rice or or lasagna or or manicotti or uh, what did I say? Meatloaf, Salisbury steak. Um, they have all kinds of frozen dinners, and they're not bad. I know. I get them from my mom. So, you know. And, and it, listen, at a doubt, yeah, well, she's, she's elderly. She's on a fixed income. Look, for a buck each. Is she on food stamps? I said yes. She's elderly. She's on a fixed income. You go there, 20 bucks will get you 20 frozen, de decent frozen dinners. Now you got... For, for just 20 bucks. Now you, now your freezer has 20 frozen dinners. For 40 bucks, you can probably load up your freezer. Go to all these. Like, you know, you gotta bring your own bag. I bring laundry bags. I bring laundry bags. I'm not buying any bags from any store. I go there, I get high quality organic stuff. Organic brown rice, organic this, organic that. You know, I mean, uh, oh. The sausage, egg, and cheese on an English muffin, frozen. I think they're four sandwiches to a do, uh, for like two dollars and change at all these. A little over two dollars, you're getting four breakfast sandwiches. See now you're well utilizing your EBT card. This is sound advice, but you got to listen. You got to absorb it, and you got to do it. Don't don't be like. Like, what's her name? Yesing me to death. The girl with the three kids, right? Yeah, the, look, a, a single mother that has three young children is like having three geese that lay golden eggs. I'm very serious about that. This is sound advice. You take one morning, you go to Bergen County Board of Social Services. You take a number, you sit down. You bring your paperwork that I told you. Past three months checking account. Uh, 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 electric bill stuff, because you have to prove where you live. Your driver's license. That's a good basic amount. Now, if they want anything else, they'll give you postage-free envelopes to mail them copies of anything else. But you go if you go there with those items, just make sure it's three months of uh, bank account. They want to see three months. You will be surprised. You might get a raise in your food stamps. They might jack you up like this guy I know to almost $200. You never know until you try, uh, Eileen. I was telling her, you never know, Billy, you never know until you try. Go in Rochelle Park and apply and very It doesn't hurt to go and inquire. It doesn't Are you hurt. Using all your EBT money each month? I, 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 using it. I yeah, I'm using it, of course. Don't 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 try to save it. Don't piss it away. Oh no, you got yeah, it doesn't it, you have to get it to a five around five dollars or under. Never carry Otherwise, it over. They're gonna think you don't need it. They're and gonna cancel it. They're gonna cancel or reduce it altogether. So make sure you use it. If you have leftover food okay. stamps, they will they They'll will say, cut this, you. You don't need she doesn't need it. Yeah. Say, hey, this girl is it. Use it. Get and, to around five, seven dollars or under. Every time. And I told her if she if she goes to like Dollar Tree, you got banquet frozen dinners. Yeah. You could load up your freezer on frozen dinners, man. Buy cans of tuna. Oh, yeah. That's nutritious. Oh, she goes to all these. They got salmon for two dollars and change. Alaskan wild salmon in a can yeah, screw it to a loaf it. of bread that'll last for how long no, so it's a one pound can just, just think of how much salmon salad you can make forget about the tuna those are little cans 
Go to, you know, I mean, oh are my God. Are you doing God. stuff at home? Are you doing anything? Take, take it. food. What are you doing at home? Take, what? Take action. All right. Because you told me once, you said, I'm not eating much. I don't have much at home, you said. So now you do. Sometimes I eat. Today I didn't eat that. Why? I just didn't feel like Well, if you didn't feel like it, that's, that's understandable. Well, but at least you could load up your freezer for a buck each. My God, that's bang. It. You have stuff, right? Look, I, I give I give my mom the banquet frozen dinners, and there it's a nice little meal for a dollar. Because they got a freezer now at the Dollar Tree in the back. I'm they, tired of cooking now. Yeah. They got frozen raviolis. Well, do you have a microwave? I have a microwave. Listen. Well, we can microwave. Listen. A lot of things are microwave. They got now. they got poppies. They got pierogies at the Dollar Tree. Don't look at no look at me when I'm talking. Giving you. I mean, they're taking that pocketbook. Who's pocketbook? No, they're not. They weren't, they weren't looking at it, you know? No. Well, yeah, say it out. Say it louder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, really. God. They went <laughs> Where's that obelisk? They Maybe she needs... I was looking at it, yeah? You wouldn't believe it. Come on, yeah. Manudge. Manudge, as we used to say, my grandmother used to say in Italian. Manudge. Manudge. Oh, God. Somebody's pocketbook there? Oh my God! What was I going to say? They're nice. They're nice meals, really. Banquets. Uh, banquets yeah, been around for a for long me, time. Wouldn't be enough. I'd have to eat two or three. No, no, no. You, you're a big guy. You're a big guy. But I'm just saying. Still, it's two, three dollars. I mean, I mean, I mean to utilize food stamps. And you too, because you eat four and five yeah. uh, breakfast burritos. You need yeah. three or four. I, I told her. I told her about all these breakfast sandwiches: egg, cheese, and sausage on an English muffin. Four for a little over two bucks. You can't go wrong. They got fro they got frozen whole grain waffles, organic, for a little over two bucks. Do you know what you're doing when you shop? I try to. Doesn't sound like she does a lot, though, does it? Doesn't sound like she's really putting thought into it. You're not really thinking about what you can. I, I can make your money work for you, boy, little boy. I should have put at least. I should have put. Goods are a great thing to buy. I should put put at least. Uh, uh, um, for a, a quarter of a cup of vodka in this. Well, with Eileen, I need a whole bottle. <laughs> a fifth. You when you're around, I'll drink anything that's got alcohol in it. She asked me what I'm drinking. Uh, is a good chance? It says Mick Cafe. Is a good chance it's coffee. Ninety-nine point nine 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 percent. Buy like chunky soups. Make a whole oh, meal all, all these has oh. chunky soups that blow away. Campbell's chunky soup by, uh, for less money. For things like Chef Boyardee for like two dollars and change. Uh, Stop and Shop has ten for ten dollars. Why? Ten cans for ten dollars. I mean, you know, we we can make oh, money I mean. for we can get paid a service fee for giving advice we'll to people. Shopping. We'll take you shopping. No, we'll give you advice. All you have to do is record it. But ten for ten dollars. That's ten, a dollar a can. Eileen, come on. Boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, Why aren't you doing? You're not doing that, are you? I buy soup sometimes. She's not listening. I'm talking about the Chef Boyardee's. Ten for ten dollars. Sometimes I buy them too. Well, I hope so. I you know they got for 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 like, like, I'm telling you, if you go to all these and you bring up like a, a big laundry bag, and you look at the low prices they have, you make a killing with your with your food with your EBT card. You make a killing. Uh, and the same thing goes for the Dollar Tree. You make a killing. The frozen food section, they got jumbo cheese ravioli. That's just as good as any Italian jumbo cheese ravioli. Mind your house, your house brands are great. Like Pierogies. Papa Shop's white bread loaf is like a dollar for a huge loaf. Well, no, she can, she can get a good whole wheat. Well, I don't get that. Sometimes they're on sale. Get some bulk, not health. Like Arnold's. You know Arnold's. Sometimes they're on sale. You know, they're still going to be two ninety nine or more. Yeah, but you don't want to eat her friggin' white bread, man. She'll be dead when she's 60 oh, years old. no. Don't buy that bleach crap. That's no, don't get bleach. Yeah, get ble oh, bleach. I, I get 12 grain no, bread. I don't I, I, high fiber. You want, to get, you want polyps? Yeah. You want your colon I, clean? I've got them. Oh, okay. I want bleach. Give me bleach. You need bread. fiber. The body needs fiber. Oh, I need, I need bleach. Listen, bread. a carnivore has a short intestinal tract. Humans have a long one. I don't care. I want bleach bread. So do you. You want bleach? You want bleach? <laughs> bleach flour. Needs bleach bread. Yeah, bleach blonde bread, right? Okay. Okay. 
All we need now is Joseph to walk in. <laughs> here, a little, here's a little. Oh yeah, he's got these long straggly. Do you, how do you shave like that and still leave those hairs though? I don't get that. How do you do that? Remember John Rokish? Oh, Roche's coaches. Yeah, remember when he was up at Barnes and Noble with us in Paramus and he had this long hair on the bridge of his nose and I said, John, don't move, I'll pull it out for you. Whoa. You know what he said to me? If you touch this, I'm gonna punch it. I go, well then walk, I said, well walk around, John, walk around with the hair. It must have been three inches long. Yeah, it was like a three inch long hair from right on the schnozzola. I said, why don't you pluck it? Why is it, why? I know what he's up to today. That was kind of eccentric of him to walk around with a long hair on top of his nose. Well, he's got long hair on <laughs> Now. But John, I think I told you, he found out this is a, this is idiot. Found out his wife had been having an affair for over 22 years. And he didn't get no, he didn't see, you, wait a minute. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. And John. he didn't see any red flags? I said, I said, 22 years, you didn't have any clue? I said, what the hell is going on? Well, did she stop having sex with him? No, she's still with the guy. I no, I mean with John Rokish. Uh, I don't know, I don't understand that, but maybe not. How do you, how do you not see? 22, yeah, I think most guys would see within a few weeks. Eileen. If a girl changes now, her routine. Now, if somebody was having an affair that long, my God, my God. Do you agree, do you agree that you, that red flags would pop up, that you would see red flags? She asked how much they call. And he couldn't see, he couldn't see any red flags. He didn't see a clue. He, he had he must no... must have been able to see something. Oh, well, by the way, they shut... 22 years, they shut the They shut the central air off. Good, good. Oh, well, good. 22 years, That's Eileen. not good. How do you... Something's wrong. That's what we just said. Something's wrong with that picture. You don't see red flags in 22 years when of marriage? When he first told me that, my jaw literally dropped and I went, what? I said, oh, come on, 22 years. Unbelievable. I said, man, but you must have been asleep at the switch. I said, where, 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 where were you? And he drove me to the cemetery once. Uh, 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 George Washington over here, because he hated his, his former father-in-law who Oh, John, oh, sounds like a real oh that's story. funny. You told me that story. It's I worth sat, hearing I, again. I sat in the John's car in the patio. Mm -hmm. John said, I'll be right back. He walked over to the grave and started dancing real crazy on top of it. <laughs> he hated the guy that much. Did he I'm, pee? I'm Did he pee? No, he said, I'm coming back on this on his grave, too. I would pick. I, I think about it. I'm sitting in the car and I'm looking over and like, he should have pissed on his headstone. He's dancing on top of the grave. Guy hated his father-in-law and he, he danced on his grave. He's on his grave too. I'm not done yet. <laughs> Unbelievable. I found, you know, I found an album of really old photographs of myself, including when I went to Salem, Massachusetts with like, and, and, and there were these like apparitions over the headstones, you know, because it, it's like over 300 years old. You actually saw apparitions? No, they're, 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 they're in the photo. You know how when you take what a photo? I mean, that you actually app yeah. actual apparitions. I'm going to bring that album in for you to yeah, look like at. I'd like to see that, please, I would. I think she's an apparition. What do you think? You mean like we're talking to a spirit and she's not really here? Are you spiritual? I wouldn't talk to a spirit. Why, you might not like what they say back to your ass? They won't talk back to me. How do you know? Well, how do you know? They might give you advice. <laughs> I don't believe it. I think what they would do, one would do a Bugs Bunny invitation. Say, yeah, shut up. <laughs> oh, by the way, was Baby Finster the one that was uh, using the electric razor in Bugs Bunny's uh, bathroom baby mirror? Baby Finster? Yeah, it was like a midget. It was, he thought it was a baby. It was a midget dressed as a baby, had hair on his chest. Bugs Bunny. I don't remember that. Yeah, he went, you know, Bugs Bunny, when you went down his rabbit hole, there was an apartment down there. I never saw that either. Yeah, you missed the episode? I guess I did. He was a squooey widow gray. Why was he a gray rabbit? No, that's I Elmer know, Fudd. Be very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. You know Elmer Fudd? What? She dated him. Do you know Elmer Fudd? He's on TV. Oh. Yeah, he was on TV, all right. A long time. He was time. a cartoon character for decades. Uh -huh. he, decades. He was a hunter. He was an avid hunter. No, he wasn't. He was a moron. I thought he was. <laughs> Remember when Johnny Carson played Floyd Turbo with that plaid jacket? No. He, he was acting like a... Elmer Fudd? Well, he was acting like a real, like a, like a right-wing redneck. For him.
Yeah, you know what's even funnier than Eileen is uh, Donald Trump praising Ki Kim Jong Un. Oh, now this guy, this owner is the biggest asshole, one of the worst on the planet. I don't go for this crap at all. I mean, his people are starving, even children, and he's a like a mass murderer. He's a rapist. He's one of the top two biggest abuses of human rights on the planet besides him and Alice. Al Assad of Syria, who's killed over 500,000. Like he's like the late Saddam Hussein. Yeah. He used to have, like, uh, just to get this girl, if he saw a pretty girl, he, he had this woman's husband murdered. I don't know why we aren't using our so called great secret forces that have phenomenal snipers and they can kill from two, three miles away. Yeah. I, if I was, I could get in there and kill him. I'd get but him, I think I get Al Assad. I would get that. But I think I think but I think jerk off but I think Donald Trump likes uh, right wing totalitarian. Trump doesn't really know what he's doing. He likes totalitarian fascist regimes. Trump's a moron. He's an absolute blithering idiot. So, uh, well, he doesn't know American history. Oh yeah, Canada burned the White House. Oh, that was funny. Canada said, that, no, it's the War of, War of 1812, for God's sakes. That's when Francis Scott Key wrote the, wrote the song in Baltimore. It's uh, uh, Fort, was it McHenry? Or Fort? Fort McHenry. Yeah. It was, was that on the, uh, on the Chesapeake? Fort McHenry. Yeah, where was it? Was that Virginia or Chesapeake? No, it was in Baltimore. Oh, it was in Baltimore. Yeah, don't tell, don't tell. Don't tell, you tell me. Where is it? Francis Scott Key. Edgar Allan Poe was from down here in Maryland. He's very down there, too. Yeah. What do you think about Poe? Edgar Allan Poe. He was a good poet. I'm surprised you didn't say it's a great sandwich from New Orleans, a Poe award. He was a good poet. He didn't even know it either. He, but he didn't even show up, but his feet did. They're Longfellows. Raven. He liked Ravens. I'll quote him no more. Maybe that's why they named them the Baltimore Ravens, the football team. That's why. Because of him. It was right. after Poe. Yes, it was. That's true. But the Raven is, you know, the smart, one of the smartest creatures on the planet. No, I don't want him kid. The smartest bird. Oh, he's not that smart. No, no, not him. The actual bird. No, the bird. No. What's the fastest the animal? The bird is the word, you know. What's the fastest animal on the planet? Uh, the cheetah or the roadrunner that goes beep beep. You're not close. No, the roadrunner in a cartoon. Peregrine Falcon go up to 270 miles an hour. But, yeah, diving. You yeah. didn't know. Dive. I knew that. You didn't know. No, they dive. Uh, That's dive bombing. 270 miles an hour. You know what they built? To, because, they're, you choose. because they're endangered, they, uh, they put uh, Falcon homes on top of New York City skyscrapers. Yeah, but they're only single story. Oh, really? No. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. The duplexes. You know, some restaurants in, in New York have a B or a com um, commercial B. <laughs> Tiny what? beehives on top of sky skyscrapers. The bees go to Central Park and they. Well, yeah, well, that, where do the A's go? Okay, so hot shirt, you but, tell me that. But one. they're. they're, right, they're But they're collecting. He's talking about beehives. Where are the A hives? But they're collecting so much honey that they're actually they have extra to sell like in other words for the restaurant they have enough honey for the restaurant but they actually there's so many bees and honey i love you <laughs> i guess i always will <laughs> somebody somebody has a right oh i i it's, it's so crazy this you know you know what just, you know what you uh, you would be great at doing the uh william shatner style of singing like the talking sing like, like in the summertime in, in the sky with diamonds. What a stupid album. I think you say comedy. yes and I say no. Matt, that was a dumb lyric Beatles song. No, it had all has meaning behind it. Yeah, but there was always, it's the same words over and over. You I say like yes and I don't we do it in the road. No one will be watching us. Why don't we do it in the road? I like when you do in the summertime when the weather is that fine. One and the other one, the great beautiful song, it's so easy to learn, even Eileen could learn it. Where all they do over and over again is go, number nine, number nine. Number really? Nine. And they made money. And they and made, did they make money off that song? Well, they made money off of every song in their library. Now, if I go choo, 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 would you do it? Choo, choo, choo. Number nine. No, not that. The, the that's, what, that's what I do. I've got a brand new pair of roller skates. You've got a brand new key. She's playing with a book of nails. She's not even paying attention. She's not listening Which at all. means our advice is, is, is we're wasting our... I'm going to look at my nails. No, you know what? You know what? I have decided 
not to give advice unless somebody sincerely asks us for it. But how do we know they're sincere? Though? They're going to give bad advice, and if it fucks with them, then gotcha. You know who's to give messed up advice? Are they going to give me bad advice? Yeah, from no. now on, they're going to tell you, tell you, you know, to do the wrong thing. You know who used to... Then when you get screwed, you're going to say, yeah. You know, you know who used to mess up uh, his competition's advice? A young Arnold Schwarzenegger. He told this young bodybuilder... Well, to take something else? No, he says what you need to do is when you get up on stage in front of the judges, you need to scream like a madman as loud as you could when you flex. And the kid did it. You should. Everybody should like, scream. Ah! Yeah. Like, as loud as you can. Or, or be like Brian Woods' face, bro. Oh, Rock'em Sock'em Robot? Jimmy who? Well, now I know why he said he's a bottom feeder. I haven't heard from him in years. His friend tried to look like he had no neck. We don't know why, but he walked around like this. Well, it makes him look bigger. It did not make him look bigger. <laughs> well, he's like an anvil. He's, he's like a moron. He's a rock em, he sock em. He walked around like this. What was wrong with him that he was doing He was that. mentally sick. He thought that made him a... No, he's he a had he's a power he lifter. He, he's he, not a power we, lifter. No, we we he's call. Tiny arms. He told everybody he's a power lifter. We call he's him the rock. We call him the rock'em sock'em robot yeah, because he's, he, he's he was moron. built like one. <laughs> How long did he do that for? I think I guess somebody got to him because when I saw him with Dunkin' Donuts a couple of years ago, and after he saw me there, he wouldn't come back. <laughs> In the summertime, the when the weather is How old was he? Oh, I don't know. Eight hundred. How years? old was he? He's still living. You know what he's doing now? He's a bail bondsman in Hackensack. He owns a bail bail bondsman office. This guy is an absolute weirdo. You know what I tell you? Know, I, you and know. his voice. Oh, you should hear his voice. He sounds like a even more feminine Mike Tyson. Sounds like Mike Tyson. Hey, let me tell you something. Let me what tell you something. What are you doing now? You know, you know. What, That's what he was like. You know what I told? Hey, you know what I told Jimmy Lagori to tell him? Call your bail bondsman office. Big balls, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> B bail bondsman. B B B B B B. All B's. Oh, I need bail money. <laughs> <laughs> it's bail or go to jail or otherwise do not fail. Well, that was from the odd couple. Your man, I need your help. Now, bail. You drink at home? No, I mean good, good stuff. You mean H two O ho? Water, no, well, otherwise water known as ho. Boring. You drink good stuff. Sometimes. Like what? Beer. Vodka. You drink beer, really? I can't picture you drinking uh, beer. Maybe like Ovaltine or something like that. But. Or it's called round teen, like Kenny Banya said on Seinfeld. The mug is round, the jar is round. Call it round teen. Why call it Ovaltine? Stupid. That's a great joke. No, it's not. Why did oval? The shape oval, yeah. but the jar's round and the mug no, is round. No, it used to be originally was oval. That's why they got the name. They You're the kidding name, me? But they, they made it more rounded for its shelf space. But you know, you know what the funny part is? I saw Ovaltine in an Asian market that is um, designed for the European stores and Asian stores. And do you notice no added sugar in that Ovaltine? The first ingredient is malted barley extract, wow. whey protein, vitamins and minerals, so the point, cocoa. The point? the point is, they want Americans to be addicted to sugar, refined oh, carbs. I think we should all have addictions. Well, 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 look at the hospitals. They're loaded. The people are dying to get in. They're all actually dying to get out. Well, they're, you know. Let's get out of here, okay? She has addictions, right? Eileen? Yeah. Are you addicted? What are you addicted to? Not take drugs? No, chocolate. That that's a are good you, addiction. You chocolate? What? Sugar free. No, no. don't tell me it's the high the sugar high sugar free. one. No. You get all the sugar you can in your system. Don't let them give you. The more sugar the better. If it's sugar free, avoid it. Get the one that's just loaded. <laughs> loaded. Loaded with sugar. Are you gonna take our advice? Yes or no? That's the moral of the story. Yeah, I am. I, I will listen. I are will you, that. listen, yeah. are you going to get, go to Rochelle Park and apply for everything? No, no, you're not going to go, are you? You're not going to go, are you? I so much already. I love, love. If I would have got a package. Yeah, excuse. What did we learn from all this, William H. Morrow the third? we had fun and laugh even more. And that you need sugar. Booze, 
Yeah. What is it when I used to No, say? you don't need sugar. It's when toxic. I used to leave my friends at the bars or the liquor, oh, the, the Sheridan Sports Bar or the Players Club, I used to go to Peace, Love, Sex, and Drugs. You know who's... My, my one buddy, Orly, because it was sweet, sweet. In summertime. He couldn't get it out properly at the end. So I go, Orly... Peace, love, sex, and drugs. He go, he go. Peace, love, sex, and drugs. I said, well, that works too. <laughs> you know who's, you know whose photo is at the Bendix Steiner? Robert De Niro. He goes there. Apparently. That's not him. Oh, that's a, an impersonator. No, it's him. And down, now Jerry Seinfeld is who went there. He did. I saw it on on one of his episodes. I'm sure you told me about that. Yeah. Uh, Comedians in cars getting there. coffee. I went there. Why isn't my picture on the wall? Oh, you've been to Bendix Diner? Once. My friend said, you've never been there? Meet me there listen, Saturday. This is a few months ago. We had breakfast. It's a little old-fashioned, greasy I've been spoon. There. I've been there. But they have bison bar. We should go sometime. Oh, yeah, I'll meet you over there. But uh, no, I met uh, the cook and everything. I said, make me a, what's your best, uh, biggest arm? And blah, blah, blah. made me a How was it? Great. It was a big well, they raved over it too. Seinfeld it was a and big the Western omelet. Seinfeld and the, and the comedian. You know why it's a Western omelet? Because they make it in the western part of the diner. No, they no. The chicken, the eggs are shipped in from California, the West. That's a lie. It's not true. Okay. You know, it's a uh, um, <laughs> bison burgers. You know, you know what a bison is, right? You know what a bison is. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is bison? Bison, B-I-S-O-N. It's a, a bird with a 10-foot wingspan. That's a pterodactyl. Oh, gosh. It's a giant prehistoric bird. has eggs like this. No. What is it? Bison? It's actually a, a breed of ostrich. No, it's not that either. I'm lying. It is. It is a big. Bison is like a buffalo breed type. Uh, it's a wild buffalo like antelope buffalo. thing. It's huge. It's huge. We, well, haven't I, you heard the saying that bisons be bisons? If you stand up, your head will reach. Uh, she don't listen. Huh? Listen. Why well, haven't you ever been to her planet? Listen. Was it Mork for Mork? Huh? Ro like, it's unpronounceable. Listen. I, I went to a Native American. Dark side of the moon. I went to a Native. <laughs> I went to a Native American festival in Hunter Mountain, New York. I stood beside a, a full-grown bison in a corral. My head reached its shoulder. They're big. And I'm six foot one. My head reached its shoulder. They're big. They are big. Let's put it that way. And you don't mess with them. Huh? I went to Hunter Mountain for a beer festival. Boy, anything with booze, they, they, have, a, to, they have a lot of festivals there. Children for, anything with booze. But if there's booze, she'll go. No, yeah, she'll be there in a minute. Because it's far. It's not that yeah, close. Yeah, let's leave tomorrow. She'll leave tonight. <laughs> no? But seriously, we should meet there for bison birds. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm only getting on with that. Right. Right. You want to do a little uh, in the summertime when I go choo choo choo? No. I'm oh, some other time. Yeah, we will. I won't forget the words. <laughs> you know what hummingbirds hum? They don't know the words. You know why birds fly south for the winter? Beats walking. It's a great audience. But she laughs at all the dumb things. A serial killer. She'll be giggling she got, all over hey, hey, Her and Marge will be on the floor. You're banging out great jokes and she's not even laughing. You and Marge, you laugh at tragedy, but... Uh, oh, he's got it. You know, this is this has been absolutely invigorating, to say the least. You're not on hey, he thinks so. <laughs> he shrugged his shoulders. You know how some you know how some people in this area you could be as funny and entertaining as hell, but they won't even like no, like they won't converse. They won't convert no. converse hey, with you. You're strange. You're all off to rape me. Oh, I don't know this person. It's like if you're in front of a urinal in a men's room, nobody will ever talk to you. Oh, they get upset when I go, hi there. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello there, big boy. Is that a banana? Safe fella. <laughs> Safe fella. Is that a banana in your, is that a banana in your pocket? Are you happy to see me? You show me yours. Oh, you see a guy run out of there so fast? You know, you know what I'm waiting to see? If Seinfeld picks up Gilbert Gottfried. Could you imagine oh, how great. funny that would be? He already did, La I saw Larry David, that was hilarious. Kramer, he picked everybody up. Except Gilbert Gottfried, but I have a feeling he will pick up Gilbert, Gilbert Gottfried. Gottfried. is one of my favorites. Comedians in, in, in cars getting coffee. Doesn't he remind you of Eileen? 
Oh, he squints. Yeah. She's eyeing you. He up does. Boy, oh, you can't take your eyes off of him. He does. The, he does the Are you in love? You know he does the Are you in love? I think they. I think they stopped the Affleck commercial with Gilbert Godfrey. Well, he was fired. Fired. Yeah, for the past couple of years, they've had a different guy doing it. But who would make a, who has a better duck sound than Gil, Gilbert all Godfrey? he said some little statement which was really nothing about a political belief or something. Heaven forbid they oh, somebody oh, should get offended. Oh, that's another. That's if another. I was a CEO, I'd say so. What? I said, oh, no, I said, stop it. I don't want to hear it. Oh, we might lose some customers. If somebody called me, and I was a CEO. I'm offended. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.